Some reptiles slither quietly and quickly along the earth, while others navigate the waters of the world gracefully. Some hide in trees or sleep soundly in the leaves, while others appear to fly. Let's learn all about these interesting creatures. The Lord will slay the dragon. Can you lead about Leviathan with a hook? Can you put a rope on his nose? Who has attacked him and come off safe? Who under the heavens? Who can force open the doors of his mouth, close his terrible teeth? Rows of scales are on his back, tightly sealed together. When he sneezes, light flashes forth. His eyes are like those of the dawn. His breath sets coals of fire. A flame pours from his mouth. Strength abides in his neck and terror leaps before him. When he rises up, the mighty are afraid. The waves of the sea fall back. What in the world is that creature? We are not entirely sure, as we have never seen anything like it during our lifetime. Some say it's a crocodile, and some say a giant sea dragon or serpent that is no longer living among us, which we call extinct. As terrifying as it sounds, guess what God tells the prophet Isaiah in the book of Isaiah chapter 27? What? He says, on that day, the Lord will punish with his sword that is cruel, great, and strong. Leviathan the fleeing serpent, and he will slay the dragon that is in the sea. So God wins. Yes, God always wins in the end, even against super scary fire-breathing dragons and crocodiles. Do you know what a crocodile is? They are such interesting creatures. A crocodile is a reptile. A reptile is a vertebrate animal with a backbone who has dry, scaly skin, breathes oxygen with lungs, and is most likely cold-blooded. They include snakes, lizards, turtles, and even the dinosaurs were reptiles. Wow, I love lizards. Hi, Albert. How are you? Can you show us all kinds of reptiles? I want to see turtles, lizards, and crocodiles too. Albert eats small reptiles sometimes. His sharp beak and claws are what help him catch his food before it can escape. Albert, can you show us all about reptiles? These are crocodiles. These monsters of the rivers and coasts live in brackish or saltwater areas all over the world and have been around for 200 million years. They are mainly active at night and are super adaptable, which means they can adjust and survive in many environments. They can go months without any food. They can stay underwater for up to an hour long, and they have the strongest recorded bites of any known animal on Earth. They have been observed even using sticks and branches as bait to catch their prey. They have been seen balancing a stick on their nose while floating near the water's surface. As a bird flew down to grab it, they became the crocodile's next meal. Uh-oh. Have you ever heard the saying crocodile tears? Crocodiles can cry, but they do not cry to show sadness like we do. They cry to keep their eyes clean and moist. Crocodiles are extremely aggressive and ferocious hunters. Do not ever go near one. They are also, however, top predators in our ecosystem's food chain and play a very important role. Without them, entire habitats could change. They help keep wetlands healthy and are essential for clean water and flood control. What's the difference between an alligator and a crocodile? Alligators are reptiles too. Both live throughout the world and prefer tropical and subtropical waters. Alligators love fresh water and look closely at their shapes. Alligators have a U-shaped snout and a crocodile has a V-shaped snout. When their mouths are closed, you only see an alligator's top teeth. But with a crocodile, you see both their top and bottom teeth when they close their mouth. I see the difference. Crocodiles are much more aggressive, so remember, keep far away. Albert, can you take us to the water and show us the incredible Jesus lizard? 
Look at this neat lizard called a green basilisk lizard. It's nicknamed the Jesus Christ lizard because it can literally walk on top of the water like Jesus did. What? This agile, fast lizard can run on top of the water by using its specialized back feet and long toes with fringes of skin, which unfurl when they hit the water. They slap their feet on top of the water with such speed and force that they stir up air pockets for support and can run many feet before gravity wins and they fall back into the water and begin swimming. That is amazing. I know. Reptiles are so cool. Have you ever seen a gecko? Yes, they are adorable. They are. And did you know they can stick to almost anything? How? They use millions of microscopic hair-like structures called CT on their toes. They also use their tips called spatulae, which create stunning molecular attractions called van der Waals forces. This phenomenon is a chemical and physical reaction of molecules that end up supporting the gecko's weight. How in the world does that happen? Scientists are still researching many reasons for this, but ultimately, it's such a wonder to behold. Geckos only weigh around 50 to 70 grams. They are tiny, but look what they can do. It's simply stunning. Just like you, even though you are only a child now, do you know what Jesus tells us about children? What? He says in Matthew 18.3, Truly I tell you, unless you change and become like little children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Wow, I feel very special. You should, just like God's amazing creatures. And I know one of your favorites is the chameleon. This beautiful reptile can change colors depending on its mood, changes in light or temperature. It also smells with its tongue. It collects scent molecules and transfers them to a special organ it has called a Jacobson's organ on the roof of its mouth. Then it uses those scents to figure out how to locate prey, other chameleons, and even find potential mates. Their eyes are also so neat. Each one can move on its own and see 180 degrees. So between its two eyes, it can see all around itself which makes them very good at escaping predators. They come in so many different shapes and sizes and are excellent at climbing trees and gripping branches. I love chameleons. Wait, isn't there a reptile that flies? Close, it glides. It's called a Draco lizard and is nicknamed the flying dragon. It has the God-given ability to glide from tree to tree in search of food, a mate, or to avoid predators. It can do this because its membranes can be opened to create wings formed by a support structure from an enlarged set of ribs. They've been recorded gliding as far as 200 feet. They live across Southeast Asia and Southern India where you can find them in forests, gardens, and the jungle. That is so cool. Lizards are precious and are everywhere. In the evening, we find them sleeping away amongst the vines of our morning glories. God's world is full of abundant life. Jesus tells us in John 10.10, 10, I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. If you look closely, you can see God's life bursting all around you. My favorite are baby turtles in our pond. They're so adorable. Turtles are also incredible creatures. They are ancient reptiles who have lived alongside the dinosaurs. They grow a unique shell on their body made from fused bones that grows with them so they can never outgrow it. They live on every continent in the world except for Antarctica. There are over 350 different species of turtles which includes the largest reptile, the leatherback sea turtle. The leatherback sea turtle swims up to 10,000 miles a year and can dive nearly 4,000 feet deep. Most turtles travel thousands of miles to come back to where they were born to lay their eggs. 
This phenomenon is called natal homing, and the turtle actually uses geomagnetic imprinting to form a magnetic map in their mind. As baby turtle hatchlings, they imprint the magnetic map of the location where they were born, and years later return to the same area to lay their own babies. An unbelievable accomplishment. I had no idea turtles were so smart. Me either. Do you know what other reptile species is smart? Snakes. In the book of Matthew, Jesus tells us that I am sending you out like sheep among wolves. Therefore, be as shrewd as snakes and as innocent as doves. How are snakes shrewd? Great question. They are extremely patient and skilled at hiding quietly while they wait to attack their prey. They can slither up to 18 miles per hour and can live almost anywhere. They can also detect subtle vibrations and escape rapidly from danger. We can learn from their actions by being careful, quiet, and clever. Many snakes are venomous, which means they have poison inside of their bodies that they inject into animals they bite, or even humans. Thousands of people die each year from snake bites, so please do not ever go near a snake and touch it unless you have an adult with you who knows it is safe to go near. Snakes are also a crucial part of our food chain. They eat mice, rats, and insects, which help keep our ecosystem healthy. They are food for birds of prey like Albert. Their venom has even been used for medicines that treat heart disease and diabetes. St. Albert the Great recorded observations on snakes as well in his writings, including a note that a snake's venom is more potent when the snake is warm. Look at these beautiful and colorful snakes. Albert, reptiles are so amazing. We loved learning about them. Where can you take us to next? Can you teach us about our own bodies? I want to learn how I am made in God's image and likeness.